Hi, in this video I'll show you how to customize your sorting. Sometimes you don't want to sort from A to Z or Z to A. You want to have a unique sort and you want to customize it. I'll show you two ways you can do it in Excel in a pivot table and then I'll also show you two ways you can do it with Power Query. So here I have my range of data and this is the sort order I want for these college degrees. I'll show you two examples one using custom list and the other one using Power Query. Now this first example is using custom list. So we have this sort order here, and when we create a pivot table, we want it to look sort like that with the associate, bachelor's, master's, doctorate, and then NA in that order, right? But you would think that uh, it would automatically do that, but it doesn't. So if I go under insert, pivot table, and let's put it on the existing worksheet here. We'll put it over here, click OK, and I, put my count here, my college degree count, put it here. Now you notice, close this. Now you notice that doctorate shows up third, where, whereas it should show up fourth or after master's, and it doesn't. And you think that, you know, if I go under sort here, more sort options, there should be something that lets me do it, but there's not, right? You can do the manual sort, you can, you can, but this, anytime the data changes, you have to do this every time. So I can just move that down here and I can change that. But if you've got a lot of things where you need to sort, it becomes manual and a lot to do. So one way to do this is with custom sort. And what we need to do is go under file, go to options, and under options, it'll go to advance. All the way down here, you have edit custom list. So we're gonna use custom list for this. And so we can identify our sort order. This already kind of identified the sort order here. And all I need to do is select it. Let's select associate here and click add, whoops, import, and then it adds it in there. Click OK, click OK, and now you notice that it's sorted correctly, where doctor comes after masters, and if I do a reverse sort, Z to A, it does it just well, All right? So let me sort it back to uh, ascending, A to Z, and get rid of these pictures, and you can see that after I've done that, I can create a chart that looks just right. So it's gonna have the correct sort order. Select my range of data here in the pivot, go to the two column chart, and now it is sorted in that order that we've identified it as being correct. All right, so remove all this, you can remove all this, and we've got our sort order correctly. And so that's how we can do it using the custom list. And our pivot table takes that, oh, one thing I need to remind you is that under pivot table options, you gotta have that selection indicated. Um, sorting, use custom list for sorting. That has to be checked in order for that to work, right? So uh, just need to pay attention to that. Now let's try the Power Query way. And I'll just create a, a new sheet here. Just copy it, Control and left mouse click, create an exact copy of this. Just delete this and delete this. And we're going to create Power Query one. So with Power Query, you need to have some tables. And the first way, actually I'll show you two examples of Power Query, how we can do it. And that's gonna be using our table here for the sort order, and the other one, of course, is our data here, right? So we have to do two tables here. I'm gonna select this, go under data, get from table and range. It's gonna say create a table, click OK. And then what we can do is, and then I'll just click close and load, close and load, and just make it a connection. I don't wanna put it back into a new worksheet or anything like that. Just create a connection, click OK. And for here, do the same thing. Go to data from table and range. My table does have headers, the first row or headers, click OK, and do the same thing here. Actually, now here when I want to summarize that data like I did in the pivot table, so what we need to do is we're going to select our college degree level here under home, click group by, and we're going to group by the college degree level. It's going to count how many doctors there are, how many associates, and give us the table similar to what we had in our pivot table. Click OK, and now we have our count. Now what we want to do is we want to do a lookup to that earlier first table that we had for the sorting order. So what we need to do is go to Merge Queries. And I'm going to merge this query with the other query that I did and click on Merge Queries. The common field that is there is the college degrees, right? So I'll go to table one where I had the sort order, click on degree, click OK, and it's going to pull in that table. You see if I click over there, you see doctorate is number four, the sort order four, associated sort order number one. Click the double headed arrow here, and all I need to do is bring in that order, because that has the numbers, so I can sort by. And uncheck this, we don't need to have the column prefix table one, and then it'll do table one dot, and then the name of that column, we don't need that. Click OK, and now we have a sort order, and select by ascending. We can 
delete this now since we've already got our sort order. Right click, remove, close and load. Let's load it onto a new sheet. Or we can actually load it onto this sheet here. We'll put it onto the existing worksheet here. Delete this and click over here. Click OK. We have our sort order, associates, bachelors, masters, doctor, NA. And that's the way we can do it via Power Query. Now, if we didn't want a lookup table here, we just didn't want to have that messiness of having another lookup table, we can do it another way. And it's using a conditional column in Power Query. So I'll go under data, control click, right, left mouse click, and just create another one here. And let's delete this again. Delete these images here. I'll delete this here. And we don't need this here, right? We don't need this because we don't want that there. Right click delete. And we're just going to pull this into Power Query. Go to data. And then from table and range, my table does have headers. Click OK. And we're going to do the same thing we did earlier by grouping this. Click on my college degree level, group by. And we're going to select that count. And it's going to do the same thing count here. And now all I need to do is add another column. So we'll do add column. And we're going to add a conditional column. So here the conditional column will give us a bunch of if statements. So we're going to say if the college degree column, if it equals, let's start with associates. If we start with associates, then we're going, or associate, then we're going to give it the number one. And we'll add another clause, if it equals, college degree equals bachelor. And then that's going to be number two. All right, and we do the same thing for the other ones, master's three, doctorate four. And I'll just kind of speed this up so you don't have to watch me do it. And for the last one here, I'll just put no, because if it finds something that needs attention, it'll just put a no there and we can just sort through it and we can change the if statements later on. So I click OK. Now we have our sort order here. Select from ascending. And we don't need this one anymore. Select that column, press delete this time. And we're going to bring this into the sheet. Close and load. Let's put it on here. Put it on the existing worksheet here. Click OK. And now we have our sort order. Associates, bachelors, masters, doctorate, and NA. So the nice thing about this approach is you don't have to create any other helper tables for that. Didn't do the merge. This is all happening within a Power Query. Now, if you had a lot of options, of course, those if then statements probably are too much. And using that lookup table is probably preferred. But if you don't have too many, then using the conditional column is probably a good way to go. So there's your two examples of how we can do a custom sort order, one using the custom list and another using Power Query. So making a custom sort is actually not too hard. No fancy formulas or a bunch of steps. Hopefully this will make it easy for you if you want to do your own custom sorts and not rely on the A to Z or Z to A sorts that are already there in Excel. You can do it both in Excel or using Power Query. So if you want to see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.